Alrighty, so I'll bring that sound down a bit. Wow, you finished map nine. <laughs> That's very cute. The thing I would say is... It's tricky. I don't know if you can... I, 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 know. I know it's all time sensitive. I don't know how much time you have and how much you care about the details. I don't know if you can turn that down. Like usually on the on the bike you can go more like that. So as you as you push it down and then you can go like this. I don't know if you have this platform you can rotate. That's what I'm getting at. And then you can change that a bit more so it's less stuck in there. So right now and it's tricky with this. Like this gets a lot of compression. It would be great to have a hip move that would free up that leg a bit. But it's just very straight. I'm trying to get some rotation there so it doesn't feel so default straight. And if you can even have a slight lean for pressure, so this can be just a nine. bit more like that. That's ninety lesson. Wow, you finished map nine. Wow, you finished map nine. Watch out and you're finished map nine. The map nine, like the the words come out like pretty quickly. It's a lot of one frame pops. I know I'll give this at least another frame for some softness. But you have a nice arc, could have a little bit of a whoosh, bit of a twirly overshoot. It gets a bit in place, like it, it stops. And you can have a little bit of a more flourish. Again, all depends on oh, you finished map nine. how much time you have. But I like map your nine. your little go back on the bike. That's cute. If you can, it's a bit straight, and then as you go up, it's kind of the same. You're starting to have a lean, but I would push that really where you can. That egg could be here, and the head is slightly then tilted against it. And you have a bit of a bend there, and you can really go bigger and broader. It's it's a bit limited and, and simple, and I don't know if you can, but you know if it's for kid stuff, you can really go broad with the moves. Don't forget arcs in the head. Feels a bit straight there, can have a bit of an arc. That's 90 lessons. And then that way when you go back here into this, then you can even maybe lean back a bit, but I know you want to point down here, but maybe have a little lean forward. Just to me it feels like broader body moves. Amazing. Then this is just again my personal thing of this is if you had this bit more, it goes into that W pose. If there's anything that is not again, I mean it's not potentially the target audience for that, but anything that's not the twins um, animation there. Amazing. And that's 90 lessons. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's I'm looking at what you could Amazing. do. And here you are. So I like this. I like how you come back to it for the click. Same thing here, a little bit of an arc. Kind of overshoot. It's mostly just adding in more just the basics of arcs and overshoots and stuff like that. And then the flatness of this for peel, like your your wrist would have to be like this seems fairly broken. If that wrist could be aligned more, but I know you just have to kind of move out maybe that elbow and rotate that wrist in. So it's not so broken looking. You know, like this could be something where instead of that, it could be amazing. It would be, he leaves that maybe on there, or maybe he gets off of it, but he could leave that on there. And this just kind of goes up a bit. But the amazing is him. Imagine the body goes a bit more left and right, and he has a bit of a wiggle in the head. Like, amazing! A bit of a, a bit more of a chest head acting than arms. Amazing! And here you are on map 10. Wow. Have you been to... That's cute. I like that. With that going there, I wonder if you can. No, there's no room. Give this a nicer, a bigger view of that hand, but I think that's all you can do. But with this, see, this is cute, and I would probably lean even a bit more with the like his curiosity goes in, and head is still somewhat stabilized. And if you can do that and kind of fix those elements, you could have a really nice feel of that lean in. Have you been to our terrific library? Then, as he continues. Right now, I feel like it's just writing and the mouth just go, opens up. But don't forget that um, for words, you still want to have up and down in your head for accents. Being to our, Being to our terrific, li terrific library. Like, you know, up, head goes up and down and just it feels a bit more connected to the words and the sound. This, I would do what you did before. 
when he stops with it it'll roll back and here you can really see how broken it feels that's really cute it has a slight ik feel with those wrists it's mostly because of the elbow movement if it's tricky though, was you have that much weight it's not like you can change too much but what you can also do is maybe lean forward a bit it's just the feeling of this is so perfectly horizontal and just going up and down while the rest is moving i know this is tricky but you could do something where it's a bit more left right and down forward just a bit not that i have to tilt and fall over but it's a bit more there again it's very detail-y so but here's the big thing of so here you can see where nothing is moving besides this so many books, so many, like, so the heck would come up. So just a bit more, imagine a bit more of a bobblehead type of thing. To read. It's really exciting. Let's take a look. And that... But it was really cute. I like that. Let's take a look. Here you can see the IK feel there. And I know it's tricky because of the orientations be kind of the same because of the weight of it. But then you have all the elbow movement and then just see how... That doesn't quite affect it, but if you can go then a bit lower with that wrist to flatten out the books a bit more, that will help get rid of that. And that's just some of the ways you can have fun in Same thing here. The main thing is that if you're sitting, right, and you don't have that much root up and down because he's sitting, you can think about some leans left and right. And again, head accents, bobble head. That's just some of the way. That's just some of the way. Like the head will go like it's almost like that da 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 da. It's like the up and down of of, of his nose tracking. Like, you can have fun. Like, you can have fun is he leans back and fun and leans forward a bit. You can have fun in the library. Go and take a look and explore some new books soon. It's cute. Like, the body actions, like, the head, what, what, when he's gesturing, what the arm's doing is fine. For this one, it's the biggest thing is um, body and head, mostly head here, to give this a bit more energy and, and, um, I get a, a connectivity, if that's a word. <laughs> so that. When he says something, it really feels like it comes out of him, the lungs, and I know you don't want to go into that detail, but if if he says something, the head's going to react to that, and you can play it up. Because it's again, it's for kids, and you want to push out a bit more, so it's not just, just not just a, a head not moving. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.